Hi there. The world price of oil has been very low in the last year or two, and uh, this significant fall in the price of crude oil has had an impact on the UK economy and uh, macroeconomic objectives. So let's spend a few minutes thinking about what some of those objective, uh, some of those effects are, and evaluating the impact of oil prices on the British economy. So here's the data showing what's happened to the price of oil. We can express it normally in dollars per barrel, but I've also converted it for you into sterling using the, the US dollar sterling exchange rate. Price of oil was pretty high in 2011, 2012, 2013, at or around $100 per barrel. And many people were thinking that uh, this was going to be the new normal for, for oil prices. Indeed, in 2014, it was still just under $100 per barrel. However, in 2015, the price of oil started to collapse and it, and it went very quickly. It went down well below 100 averaged uh, $65 in May 2015 and carried on falling. By the turn of the year, by the turn of 2016, the price of oil was less than $40 per barrel and fell a, bit, fell a bit more as well. Price of oil has since recovered, but keep in mind that the exam, the 2016 exam was set months ago, so if there's a question on oil prices, it's likely to be about the fall in the price of oil and the impact on the economy and macro policy. By definition, of course, there's going to be winners, there's going to be losers from, uh, from oil price increases, and uh, here are some of the losers, here are some of the, uh, some of the losers. Winners would include things like motorists, who uh, gain from cheaper petrol prices at the pump, road haulage companies, of course, heavy users of diesel and petrol, they'll benefit from lower distribution costs. Uh, businesses such as the packaging, the plastics industries will find that uh, their costs go down as oil is an input into that, that product. Farmers may benefit because oil is used in making fertilizers. So perhaps the cost of uh, fertilizers or synthetic plastics and things for bundling up hay, that'll go down as well. Airlines have benefited, of course, from a fall in the global price, price of aviation fuel. Now, an evaluation point is that although the global price of oil has fallen very sharply, not every type of price has fallen dramatically by the same extent. For example, petrol. Most of a litre of petrol is tax. So the percentage change in the price of petrol is significantly less than the percentage drop in the world's price of oil. And there are some losers as well. The North Sea oil and gas industry has taken a big hit in and around the uh, northeast of Scotland. And one could make the case for there being a significant negative regional multiplier effect. A fall in, in output, a fall in investment, and crucially, of course, many thousands of jobs at risk. The economic viability of the renewable sector has also taken a, a hit from the fall in the price of oil. So wind and solar power becomes less commercially attractive when oil is, is, is cheap. UK government in the short term loses out because they're going to get less revenue from North Sea oil and gas production. But if the economy grows a little bit more quickly, then of course they could get some higher taxes from that. And again, in the short term, pension funds who perhaps are long on businesses such as BP and other oil sector businesses, they might take a, take a bit of a hit on, their, on the value of their assets. So there are always some winners and some losers. I think one of the most important contextual points is that the British economy is now a net importer of oil. And we have been for the last 10 years or so. For many years we had a surplus in oil. We exported more in value terms than we imported. So that's now turned around, as you can see. Well, one of the benefits of a fall in oil prices is that our trade deficit in oil has more than halved in the last two years. From over £10 billion a year, so over £200 million a week, to less than half that, a deficit of about four billion in 2014. So when we're evaluating the economic effects of oil prices, I think it's important uh, to think about three things. One is that there are winners and losers. Secondly, that a change in oil prices affects both the demand and the supply side of the economy. And thirdly, that a change in oil prices can have a direct effect on some objectives, things like the rate of inflation, uh, and more of an indirect effect going forward on things like unemployment, investment and the rate of economic growth. So it's difficult to disentangle some of the effects. And sometimes what you have to do is you have to, you have to go one level below and think, well, what about the impact on particular industries? And then say, well, how important are those sectors? So renewable energy becomes less economically viable. OK, well, you know, does that really challenge the long term viability of, of solar power or is it merely a kind of cyclical a hiccup, if you like. So that's quite important. How about using a little bit of ADAS 
I would argue that a fall in oil prices actually has two main impacts diagrammatically. If the costs of production go down because of cheaper oil, things like road haulage companies and airlines and farmers, plastics companies, then that's equivalent to an outward shift of supply, which I've shown here, causing an expansion of demand. I'm also going to suggest to you that the fall in oil prices on balance, taking everything into account, is, is probably good news for growth. It's probably good news for demand. Partly because a, a fall in the price of oil, if it means cheaper utility bills, if it means cheaper petrol, it's almost like a tax cut to many consumers and also to many businesses that rely on, on petrol and diesel and, and energy. So that it's almost like a, the government cutting taxes and that will increase demand. And also we're spending less on imports of oil. Our, our oil import bill will fall this year. And of course it's C plus I plus G plus X minus M. So if the M is falling relative to where it was a couple of years ago, it's minus less, if you like, and therefore C plus I plus G plus X minus M will be higher. So I'm suggesting that a fall in oil prices causes an outward shift of supply and also possibly an outward shift of demand. In other words, good for growth in the economy and pretty good news for keeping inflation down. Of course, the risk could have been that the fall in oil prices might have tipped the economy into deflation. And inflation in the UK in 2015 was just 0.1%. We were pretty close to deflation. Anyway, that's been a quick journey through some of the economic effects of oil prices. Oil prices now going up. So keep that in mind if you get this question in the exam. Thank you.